Division It is a process of equal distribution. Look at the example. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Ramaya has 5 sons. He bought 10 chocolates. First he gave 1 chocolate to each of his son. Next once again he gave 1 more chocolate to them. Now the plate is empty. Thus we can say that Ramaya distributed 2 chocolates for his 5 sons. Division is a repeated subtraction process. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Minus 2 is equal to 4. Minus 2 is equal to 2. Minus 2 is equal to 0. Look at another example. 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. Minus 3 is equal to 9. Minus 3 is equal to 6. Minus 3 is equal to 3. Minus 3 is equal to 0. Thus, from the above examples, we can prove that division is a repeated subtraction. Division is the reciprocal of multiplication. 4 into 2 is equal to 8. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. have another example here. 4 into 3 is equal to 12. This can be said as 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 and 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. This is the symbol of division. It is called as divided by. 276 divided by 12 is equal to 23. The number being divided is called as dividend. The number that divides is called as divisor. The number obtained by dividing the dividend by divisor is called quotient. Here in this picture, 276 is dividend, 12 is divisor and 23 is the quotient. The number of left after division is less than the divisor is called as reminder. Now have a look at the process of division. 276 divided by 12. First we should arrange the numbers in this method. Divisor at the left and dividend at the center. First multiply the first two numbers with 12 that is 12 into 2 is equal to 24 subtract 24 from 27 then the remainder is 3 take 6 from the above number to the bottom now the value is 36 again 12 should be multiplied up to the possible times. Here we get 36 by 12 into 3. Then the remainder is 0. Let us see one more example. Divide 48 by 2. At first write divisor and dividend as shown. How many 2's are there in 4? 2 times. Write 2 on the right side of the dividend. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Write this under 4 of the dividend. Now subtract 4 from 4. The remainder is 0. Then draw 8 to the right of 0. How many times 2 is 8? 4 times. Write 4 to the right of 2 of the quotient. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Write 8 under 8. Now subtract 8 from 8. The number to the right of dividend is quotient. Quotient is equal to 24. 
remainder is equal to zero. Zero that is in the last is the remainder. Verification: divisor into quotient plus remainder is equal to dividend. Here, two into twenty-four plus zero is equal to forty-eight, which is dividend. Division by ten, hundred, and thousand. Thirty divided by ten is equal to three as quotient, remainder zero. Forty-six divided by ten is equal to four as quotient and remainder six. Four hundred and thirty-two divided by ten is equal to forty-three as quotient. and the remainder is 2 when the number is divided by 10 the remainder is the digit in the ones place of the number the quotient is the number formed by remaining digits when the number is divided by 100 the number formed by the digits in tens and ones places is the remainder Quotient is the number formed by the remaining digits. Look at the example. Four hundred divided by hundred is equal to four as quotient, and the remainder is zero. In the number five hundred and thirty-two divided by hundred, quotient is five, and the remainder is thirty-two. In the above manner. When a number is divided by thousand, the number formed by the digits in hundreds, tens, and ones places is the remainder. The number formed by the remaining digits is the quotient. Look at the example: four thousand divided by thousand is equal to four as quotient and zero as the remainder. In the number four thousand eight hundred and ninety-two divided by thousand, four as quotient and eight hundred and ninety-two as remainder. Points to remember: division is a process of equal distribution. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder.